Welcome to part two of building a basic penetration testing lab. In this particular video, we're going to take the concepts that we talked about in part one and actually begin to install the virtualization environment. We're going to use VirtualBox to do that in this video. In follow-on videos, I'll show you how to use Kali Linux to install the penetration testing environment, Metasploitable 2 to have a vulnerable Linux distribution, and Windows XP Service Pack 3 to have a vulnerable Windows environment to pen test against as well. So as I talked about in part one, we're going to use VirtualBox. So you want to go to virtualbox.org and click on the big download button. Once you do that, you'll find listed both Linux, Macintosh, and Windows hosts. When they're talking about the host, they're talking about the operating system on your particular laptop or desktop, not the machine that you want to end up installing later. So in my case, I'm using a Macintosh, so I'll click on the OS X. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, you want to go to your download folder. And for Windows, it'll be an installer file. For Macintosh, it's this DMG file, which is a disk image. Double click on that. It will open on your desktop. And you can see we have this VirtualBox window. To install it, you're going to double click on the icon, which is like a Windows installer. Hit Continue to determine if the software can be installed. Click Continue again on Introduction. I like to click on Customize and ensure the Command Line section is also checked. If you want, you can turn that off. I like to leave it on because it gives me the option of using my terminal window to do VirtualBox commands as well. And then go ahead and hit install. Once you hit install, if you're not on an administrator account, it'll ask for your username and password. Just put that in. And then it'll start writing the files to your default drive. It'll tell you how much time is remaining. And once it's finished installing, you'll be able to hit close. And then close out that VirtualBox. And you can then drag this from your desktop to your trash can to unmount the disk image. Now if you look in your applications folder, I now have VirtualBox installed. If I click on it with my left mouse, it'll bring up the program for me. Usually in this left side is where you're going to see your different operating systems that you're going to be able to run. In the next three videos, we'll show you how to install Kali Linux, Metasploitable 2, and Windows XP Service Pack 3. If you already know how to do this, Feel free to do this on your own and then go to the sixth video in the series, which will show you how to network them and keep them off of the internet, but inside your own host available only private network to do your penetration testing on safely.